2K and Marvel Entertainment have confirmed that the tactical RPG Marvel's Midnight Suns won't be heading to the Switch. The cancellation of the development for the platform has been confirmed. However, plans for PS4 and Xbox One are still going ahead with a digital launch set for May 11th. This will include all post-launch downloadable content as well as the upcoming Bloodstorm expansion also releasing the same day. The final story chapter Bloodstorm will be the last of the four post-launch expansions. In this chapter, Storm will be going head to head with Dracula and trying to stop the spread of vampires. She will attempt to rescue a lost mutant child in the city of New York. Marvel's Midnight Suns is currently available on PC via Steam and the Epic Game Store, Xbox Series and PlayStation 5. It's joining PS4 and Xbox One on May 11th. A gameplay trailer for the upcoming DLC for Spoken in Tanta We Trust gives a taste of the upcoming parkour moves players will be able to pull off. The new content will have Frey going back in time and co-op with a familiar face. The footage shows Frey slingshotting herself up to hard reach places and joining Tanta Sinta in battle. Sinta wields a magical sword which appears to CC enemies in place with a gold net, but Frey also can be seen teaming up with Sinta and doing what she does best. The DLC does bring a brand new set of magical abilities to Forspoken as well as Tanta Sinta to fight alongside. The trailer shows them working together and even teleporting together. This dynamic duo will surely have some new ways to take down formidable foes. New abilities include Skewer letting Frey expel beams of magic to crystallize enemies, Shock which can send out a wave of magical creatures to crystallize foes, and finally Allied Strike which means duoing with Tanta Sinta to fire a volley of piercing bullets. Forspoken in Tanta We Trust will be released on May 26th. For those who purchase the Digital Deluxe Edition, though, you will be able to get early access on May 23rd. We got a new gameplay video this week which previewed the Korean MMO Chrono Odyssey. The title was announced a few years back. Previously, it was outlined to be coming to current gen consoles, PC, and mobile devices, but has since dropped Android and iOS. The game is also now being developed in Unreal Engine 5, boasting stunning visuals, teasing some of its stellar environments, characters, enemies, and even combat. The chrono mechanic looks to be a form of stopping time or freezing enemies in place to gain the upper hand. Being able to rewind time going back a few seconds also adds an interesting element to the MMORPG. Time manipulation also means being able to slow down time and even return from the dead. How these abilities will all balance is something very intriguing. If you want to get a full breakdown of the footage, be sure to check out our Chrono Odyssey gameplay preview video on our channel. Mundfish, the developer behind Atomic Heart, have announced a new DLC we're launching this summer for the action RPG. This time it will be taking place in a new location called Facility 3826. You know when you see Facility in the name, that something experimental must be in its depths. The DLC is part of the Season Pass, one of the four expansions already planned for the game. The description for Facility 3826 teases many undiscovered places and extraordinary locations. If other areas of Atomic Heart are anything to go by, there has to be some nightmarish inhabitants to meet there too. A brief trailer previews some of the underwater action, maybe exploring some things below the surface, and a quick look at the new facility. It looks almost like a theme park in nature with its winding paths. Atomic Heart was released for PS5, PS4, PC, Xbox Series, and Xbox One. The first of the four DLCs will drop this summer. And now for a new game announcement. Pathfinder will be taking a new path with its very own action RPG hack and slash title in Pathfinder Abomination Vaults. What makes this Kickstarter campaign stand out from the crowd is that it will offer action co-op for the first time in a Pathfinder game. Based on the tabletop game, Abomination Vaults will be exploring the digital realm. This title will be covering the Gauntlet Keep, where four players will venture to reach the sorceress Belcora Caravex. It's these Pathfinder heroes who will need to put a stop to her plans. The game will include iconic characters from the role-playing world, a couple teased R. Amory and Ezrin. How the developer BKOM will bring the classic Paizo tabletop role-playing game to life in a new digital format is explored a little in the trailer. If it takes your fancy, you can help them get the campaign off the ground when the Kickstarter campaign launches. So far, it already has over 5,500 followers, so be sure to follow the campaign if you don't want to miss out on their epic foray into a new Pathfinder game. Developer Iron Oak Games has announced the closed beta of the upcoming sequel for The King 2 is happening this May. Prepare your adventuring hat as For The King 2 has a closed beta happening on May 10th to 16th. 
Developer Iron Oak has announced those who wanting to participate can sign up via Steam. The closed beta will test the multiplayer functionality of the game. Previously, For the King 2 was announced last year, the sequel to the roguelite of the same name. This time around, players will not only venture into the kingdom in solo parties, but will be able to join friends in turn-based co-op, with up to four players to stop the Queen's terrible reign. For the King 2 will be coming to PC sometime in 2023. Stoking the fires of hell, well, it seems to be hotting up down there as the development team for Diablo 4 are having a live stream on May 10th at 11am PDT. This is just a couple of days before the server stand beta. As we near the launch of the game, Blizz still has some topics to talk about before the action RPG fully unleashes. The post which was announced on Blizzard's official blog emphasizes the completely optional battle pass, which is a reminder that players don't have to opt in if they don't want to. Previously, it was outlined that Battle Pass will take roughly 80 hours to complete. It will offer both a free track and a paid track which comes with cosmetic rewards. Seasons will also gain some detail on what we can expect in terms of the optional game mode. These are expected to last for roughly around 3 months in cycles according to the previous release details. While we gear up to launch, a final server test will be happening on the weekend of May 12th. All players are invited this time to explore Sanctuary one last time before the gates of hell are officially opened. The Diablo 4 server stand will allow Blizz to test just how sturdy the servers are. Diablo 4 will be launching on June 6th for PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series. For everything to know about the next open beta, check out our guide on Diablo 4 server slam last beta test. Remnant 2, the shooter Souls-like sequel, has had some interesting trailers as of late. The same goes for the latest trailer titled The World of Lonesome Fay. The video invites viewers to preview the Fae side, which has fallen prey to the addiction of a life force known as Dran. It seems it wasn't always like this, but since merging into the world of Lonesome, things haven't been so positive. The trailer does not disappoint visually. The gothic halls are overcast with a dark presence. The crumbling pillars are overlooked by an inhabitant seemingly waiting for something. Maybe for new visitors or unwanted guests to stumble upon its great rooms. Remnant 2 will be released this summer for Xbox Series, PlayStation 5, and PC. It's a sequel to the title of the same name, but it's shaping up to bring some new archetype classes and more menacing foes. If you can't wait for the game and you want to know more about Remnant 2, we have a great wiki that will fill you in with all the latest information as it releases. Well, that's it for the week in the wikis. Please join us again next week for yet another great week of gaming. Remember to check out our VIP program for some exclusive supporter benefits and budding writers should take advantage of our Become an Author initiative. Thanks again for being part of this great community. Keep checking in with us with news, reviews, YouTube streams and vids and general wiki goodness.